what is mcdonald's method used to estimate show options are fetal heart rate gestational age fundal height for gestational age or fetal position the correct answer is c that is fundal height for gestational age measure from symphysis pubis to fundus in centimeter approximates fetal growth in weeks question number 27 which immunization is recommended during each pregnancy after 20 weeks options are influenza tdap hepatitis b or mmr the correct answer is b that is tdap tdap protects newborns from pertussis by passive maternal antibody transfer Question number twenty-eight. The best time to assess baseline fetal heart rate is during acceleration, decelerations, minutes without contraction or moments, or during contraction. The correct answer is C. That is minutes without contraction or moments. Baseline is measured during quiet periods, excluding acceleration. or deceleration question number 29 what degree of perineal tear extends into the rectal mucosa show options are first degree second degree third degree or fourth degree the correct answer is c that is third degree third degree extends through anal sphincter into rectal mucosa fourth reaches rectal epithelium question number 30 which technique helps prevent neonatal hypoglycemia show options are delayed clamping early initiation of breastfeeding bathing immediately or administering water The correct answer is B that is early initiation of breastfeeding. Feeding within the first hour supports glucose stabilization and thermoregulation. Question number 31 Hello friends welcome back to dear competitive exam YouTube channel. Today you are attending 200 most repeated and most important question answer session based on maternity nursing. general midwifery for 2025 examinations and this is the part 2 of the series i'm sure that you don't want to miss the first part and the link of the first part is given in the description so let's challenge your quality of learning let's see what will be your score out of 50 from this part so do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of question and at the end if you find this video helpful then please do like subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams let's continue question number 31 in magnesium sulfate therapy for pre eclampsia a protective level is show options are 1 to 2 ml equivalent per liter 4 to 8 milli equivalent per liter 10 to 12 milli equivalent per liter or 15 to 20 milli equivalent per liter the correct answer is b that is 4 to 8 milli equivalent per liter therapeutic range is 4 to 8 milli equivalent per liter higher levels risk respiratory depression or loss of reflexes question number 32 What is the most common cause of postpartum hemorrhage? Your options are retained placenta, uterine atony, lacerations, or coagulopathy. The correct answer is B. That is uterine atony. Failure of uterus to contract strongly is the leading cause of early postpartum bleeding. Question number thirty-three. Which danger sign indicates possible abruptio placenti? Show options are itching palms, late deceleration, 
सडन पेन एंड ब्लीडिंग और इंक्रीज फीटल मोमेंट द राइट आंसर इज सी दट इज सडन पेन एंड ब्लीडिंग अब्रप्टियो प्लेसेंटी टिपिकली प्रेजेंट विथ पेनफुल वजैनल ब्लीडिंग एंड यूटीराइन टेंडरनेस क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर When is the glucose challenge test GCT done? In twelve to fourteen weeks, in sixteen to eighteen weeks, twenty-four to twenty-eight weeks, or in thirty-six to forty weeks. The correct answer is C. That is twenty-four to twenty-eight weeks. Between twenty-four and twenty-eight weeks is optimal timing to screen for gestational diabetes. Question number thirty-five: Which maternal position improves utero placental perfusion during labour? Two options are supine flat, lateral tilt, or left lateral, upright standing, or lithotomy. The correct answer is B. That is lateral tilt or left lateral. This. Relieves compression of inferior vena cava, maintaining blood flow to placenta and fetus. Question number thirty-six. What is engagement in labor? Two options are cervical dilation at five centimeter, fetal head descent into pelvic implant, rupture of membranes, or onset of contraction. The correct answer is B. That is fetal head descent into pelvic inlet. Engagement indicates the largest fetal head diameter has entered maternal pelvis, often about zero station. Question number thirty-seven. Which vitamin is routinely given IM to newborns at birth? Two options are vitamin A, vitamin D. Vitamin K or vitamin C. The correct answer is C. That is vitamin K. Vitamin K injection prevents hemorrhagic disease of the newborn by enabling clotting factors. Question number thirty-eight. What is the approximate length of the umbilical cord at term? Two options are twenty to thirty centimeter, fifty to sixty centimeter. Seventy to eighty centimeter or ninety to hundred centimeter. The correct answer is B. That is fifty to sixty centimeter. A typical umbilical cord is about fifty to sixty centimeter at terms. Extremes may indicate pathology. Question number thirty-nine. FHR accelerations during fetal moment indicate fetal distress. Fetal well-being, umbilical cord compression, or hypoxia. The correct answer is B. That is fetal well-being. Accelerations reflect intact fetal autonomic and oxygen reserve. Question number forty. Which period is considered the immediate postpartum? Two options are first six weeks. First twenty-four hours, first forty-eight to seventy-two hours, or first two hours. The correct answer is D. That is first two hours. The fourth stage of labor covers the immediate recovery period. The first approximately two hours after delivery. Question number forty-one. Which of the following is a risk factor for gestational hypertension? Two options are young maternal age less than twenty years, multiple gestation, low BMI, or first pregnancy only. The correct answer is B. That is multiple gestation. Carrying twins or multiples increases placental mass and maternal blood pressure risk. Primiparity also is a factor, but low BMI is not. Question number forty-two. What is the hallmark laboratory finding in preeclampsia? Two options are 
एलिवेटेड ए एल टी और ए एस टी एलिवेटेड क्रिएटेनाइन प्रोटीनूरिया और हाइपर ग्लाइसीमिया द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी दैट इज प्रोटीनूरिया न्यू ऑनसेट प्रोटीनूरिया आफ्टर ट्वेंटी वीक्स जस्टेशन डिफाइंस प्री इक्लैम्सिया इन कॉम्बिनेशन विथ हाइपर टेंशन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री Which clinical sign is typically of hydate tidiform mole? Two options are severe back pain, preeclampsia before twenty weeks, increased fetal movement, or hyperpigmentation. The correct answer is B. That is preeclampsia before twenty weeks. Early onset preeclampsia may be a clue to molar pregnancy. due to abnormal trophoblastic proliferation question number 44 which medication prevents seizures in eclampsia two options are diazepam oxytocin magnesium sulfate or hydralazine the right answer is c that is magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate mgso4 is the anti convulsant of choice for seizure prevention and treatment in eclampsia question number 45 how often should a normal progressing labor be assessed for cervical dilation in active phase two options are every hour every 15 minutes every 2 hours or every 4 hours The correct answer is A that is every hour during active labor cervical checks hourly help to monitor progress while minimizing infection risk Question number 46 Which of the following is a best nursing intervention with hyperemesis gravidarum Two options are high fat diet small frequent meals immediate iv fluids only or restrict fluids the right answer is b small frequent meals small bland meals reduce nausea iv fluids correct dehydration but dietary changes aid symptoms long term question number 47 what is the primary purpose of tocolytic therapy in preterm labor Two options are stop labor permanently, delay delivery to allow corticosteroids effect, increase uterine contractions, or manage fetal heart rate. The right answer is B. That is delay delivery to allow corticosteroids effect. Tocolytic temporarily delay labor to allow steroids like betamethasone to improve fetal lung maturity. Question number forty-eight: Which fetal presentation is most common at term? Two options are breech, transverse lie, cephalic vertex, or face presentation. The right answer is C. That is cephalic vertex. Head first vertex presentation occurs in the majority of term deliveries. Question number forty-nine. Which is not a component of the APGAR score? Two options are muscle tone, irritability, blood glucose level, or respiratory effort. The right answer is C, blood glucose level. APGAR evaluates appearance, pulse, grimace, activity, and respiration. Glucose level is not included in the APGAR score. Question number fifty. Best practice to prevent mother-to-child transmission of HIV during labor is vaginal delivery regardless of viral load, administer nauripine only, maternal antiretroviral therapy and possible C-section, or no intervention needed if low CD4 count. The right answer is C that is maternal 
and try to viral therapy and possible C section. Combination therapy and elective C section reduce transmission risk when viral load is detectable. Friends, it is a time to comment your score out of 25 questions. And friends, thanks for joining us on this exciting journey. If you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new, then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field. Until the next time, stay curious, stay healthy. See you. Take care.